everyone, it's me, Wing Rocker here again, and today I'm here to show you another new mock I created. However, before we get to this mock, I have a few things to say. Number one, you might have noticed the video quality is much better than it was before, because I decided to change by using my tablet for filming, rather using my Sony Ericsson Xperia mini phone. Quite a mouthful, isn't it? Um, I noticed that even though my phone is set to HD before filming, the quality is still really, really bad. So this is quite a dramatic change, I hope. And number two, you also might have noticed I skipped the intro because I decided to make a new rule. From now on, every time this mock is for a contest entry, I will skip the intro. Yes, I have spoiled it. This is a contest entry, but I will not say which contest is it. I will get to that later. And as for the normal mugs I created to show off, will be put it on the intro. Also, I'm a little bit lazy because I just don't want to run to the third floor to use my computer and just paste the intro on it. It's getting kind of old for a while. Just kind of uh, getting sick of it. So. Yeah. Anywho, I think I just keep stalling, eh? Alright, alright. Let me explain. This mock is quite special. It's the contest entry for the Do Productions Aquatic Contest. A quick bio story to show you who is the Do Productions. He is the creator of Red Tails, and his self mock is called Rouge. And he does pretty great work, so you can go subscribe to him if you want. And as I said, he has hosted the aquatic contest right now, and this is my entry for that. Behold, it's Leon in his aquatic form. Actually, there are two pieces, but we'll get to the other piece later. Let's just get the main piece over with first. Um, there we go. For starters, the color scheme has changed a little bit. And in order to fit the aquatic theme, he now has transparent blue, gum metal, gray, a little bit of silver, a little bit of gold, and black in order to create this. Let's start with the legs. The legs are very fully armored now. His feet are now silver with these golden spikes, exactly from the old design, with these silver jewels hanging on the side or rather connected to the side if I should say and has these little um, transparent light blue armor with these black um, ball shaped armor covered on his knees which is good and the same golden uh, blade pieces kind of sticking down on there so they look really really cool for the chest here it has this old drone chest design and I do have to remove these stickers off because this is from Stormer XO after all but let's just leave it on there I'll tear them apart or rather remove them later and it has this little white clamp design for a little decoration on the neck and it has only one blue claw over there and an empty white clamp hiding over here I will show what this clamp is for later, but for now, let's move on to the arms. The arms now have this new transparent light blue armor with this small gum metal panel, and it now has these um, drones in order to help in my underwater missions, since drones always come in handy. And as for his weapons, he holds the exact same blaster. I have made for Leon. However, the marble has changed. Um, the silver marble is from the one of the cannons from the Shining Buster. It's now laying over there. So, yeah, not really much of a deal. It still can blast out. It's just the colors change. That's it. And for the staff, also not really much of a change here, except the blades have now changed into these blue ones because to fit the aquatic theme obviously 
And yes, I know, I ripped these blades off from my blue venator mock. Sorry, blue, I'll put that back later. And as for the head, the head is now changed into this dark blue core once again to fit the aquatic theme with this light blue mask uh, in order to fit the theme as well. This is also a rip out piece from Neon also lying over there. Uh, sorry Neon, I'll put that back to you later. But yeah, it looks pretty cool. And to give you this a slow motion to show you everything. There we go. However, as I said, there is more to it. There is actually another piece to this creation. And that's the Vortex Thruster. I know, not much, and it's pretty much of a small equipment, a new tech for the Neon, but still pretty cool. It has some panels over here, looking like many wings of some sort has these little blade details with nothing covered on the axle part in there. You can see a single silver armor piece with this wire dangling all over the place. You'll see what this is for later. On the back you can see this spikes, fangs, whatever making for a decoration and you can see these two pieces are from the Jaraka sets and I never thought they would come in handy but they actually did just to make this kind of motor thruster engine thingies and a little single golden uh, booster from booster thing so yeah that's pretty much it to this um, vortex thruster here's the good news I will be keeping this piece and I actually will change the color scheme in order to fit the original form of Neon. Or, uh, sorry, correction, Leon. So, yep. This is actually compatible for anyone. But you do have to change the color scheme a little bit. To um, prepare putting it on Leon, just take this H-piece axle and you basically put that in I notice this is getting way longer than my usual mock videos but let's just quickly get it over with come on get in there get in there my little thruster there we go and you take this wire piece and bring out that um, extra clamp piece which somehow is now stuck in there for some reasons and you take the wire and you basically plug that in and put it back in there there we go and now you have Leon fully oh, whoops there we go uh, sorry kind of fell down on this a little bit but anyways here we have Leon fully armed in his aquatic form with his thruster on and now has this little very nice black belt or rather oxygen tube in order to put that on and yeah looks really really cool the only downside is the thruster is really back heavy so it's really easy for him to tip over as I already demonstrated but it's still pretty cool and yeah that's that's basically it. That's my entry to the Duperturkin's Aquatic Contest. If you can see this quickly and you could actually see the entire video, I would thank you very much because <laughs> there are a lot of mistakes and I did the best at what I can here. So, yeah. But I do have some bad news to say. If you expecting this form to appear in my upcoming series, Leon Shadow, I'm sorry, cause you're wrong. This form won't appear in Leon Shadow because some parts have been borrowed from my mocks, like Neon, Blue, over there, or rather lying over there, or 
and some other mocks, so I do have to return the parts to them because I haven't even started on my series, right? So if you want to see this form, sorry, it's not going to last forever. This is just a contest entry, but I did the best what I can here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like, you can subscribe because this channel is currently uploading some cool stuff for you guys to enjoy. Maybe yes, maybe not. And you could follow me on social network like Google Plus or Skype and maybe I'll talk to you if I have time. Stupid time zones. I always hate them. This is Wing Rocker signing off and I'll see you guys in another brand new video. See ya!